Okay, here we are to talk about CSI Miami. Yes, I spilled something on my shirt. Um, let's just say this is going to be season three. Okay, I want to show you the episodes I watched. I just want to make sure I get to the right one. Okay, I'm going to start with the episode Money Plane. 6.8 out of 10, 335 rating. So all these shows, the same amount of people rate everything because nobody bothers to rate individual episodes. It takes too long. When a cargo plane crashes, Horatio must determine the cause and how a corpse ended up in the hold. First of all, I hate to say it, but jurisdiction-wise, you would think there'd be bigger agencies out there that would take care of a plane crash besides the CSI from Miami, the, the police department and stuff. It didn't make much sense to me why the FBI or someone else didn't like, join in, into that and take full control. But um, this is CSI Miami. Okay, next episode. Game over. 7.0 out of 10, 336. This was pretty interesting. The team investigates the murder of a tester who works for a skateboard empire and Horatio moves fast to find a stolen sex video before it's marketed. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the video game thing was pretty good for its time. 7.0 out of 10, 336. Same amount of people rated every episode. Jeez. And this is more, all right, sex and taxes. These all happened in 2005, by the way. I'm not going to give you the exact dates. All 2005 episodes. Sex and taxes. The death of two IRS agents sends the team on the hunt of three killers. Meanwhile, Wolf keeps stepping on people's toes. And by the way, wow, when it gives you the option to see if you want to watch this show or not, it says... Search on Amazon, search for Blu-ray and DVD. Now, I don't think there is no Blu-rays for CSI, except for the the first and eighth season of the original trilogy and um, CSI Vegas season one. There's no Blu-rays other than that. Oh, so it just proves they don't have it on a streaming service right now, at least not from here. Okay, the next one. Let's, let's, make, let's get this, make sure we're getting this right here. All right, kill a date. A woman is murdered at a bar that serves more than just drinks. After a night out, Delco's badge is missing. Horatio finds out that his brother is really a DEA agent under deep cover, and his brother is still alive. Just the fact that he found out endangers his life. Um, they saw him on a, he was on a motorcycle and he just drove away, which was kind of stupid. Even then, there had to have been some street cams around and stuff. They probably could have found him. But it's not smart to do that. 7.3 out of 10, 324. So what do I think of CSI in Miami? Well, on my other channel, when I stopped doing these videos for a while, which now I forget, if I don't feel like doing them the night before, I can do them the next day. You can't do that with sports. You have to do that the same day or else you don't do it. Um, I'm going to say CSI in Miami is a pretty good, damn good show, but it does have its faults. And um, just like any other show. And sometimes it's like it seems repetitive, just like any other CSI series. Um, the only one that you really like to see over and over is like a lot of the Law and Order stuff, because that stuff really gets going, especially Criminal Intent. Only 10 seasons of that. Could have been more. But Vincent D'Onofio supposedly had some kind of something, I don't know what he has, but it prevented him from filming a lot of the time. All right, that's it. And, um... I guess till next time. Bye-bye. You know, yes, I spilled something.